Shalom. Giving all praise and name, glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Shai Bashim, Kakadash, and the Balan also the Allah Passes, all the bishops and brothers on the great millstone. Salutations to all people that visit your prayer. I am Yam Yam, here to share our lesson. And the title of this lesson is uh, We are close to a time uh, where the prophet's tongue will cleave to their mouth. You know, this is um inspiration for this lesson came uh, from an uh, article I saw a while back on um, the current administration of uh, Biden being advised to jail Americans for sharing uh, news or information outside of the mainstream. So they want to control uh, what you see, what you hear, and how you think. And the only ones right now that is delivering the 100% truth is the men of the Lord, is the men of Great Millstone with the 100% um, doctrine. But that time is coming to an end. See right now the brothers, they are starting um, with the elder apostles on down, elder bishops on down. You know, they are going hard. You know what I mean? They are bringing out uh, prophecy to warn um, the people. As per Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, right? So brothers are going hard, you know, delivering this word unto the people so that they could hearken unto it and that, you know, they could repent. But it's coming a time where this word would not be heard. Yeah, it's one thing to hear the news and all of that, but to match what is happening in the world, what is happening in the news with scripture. Um, no one is doing that 100% truthfully than at the men of Great Millstone. So I'm going to share a few um, scriptures. Um, Lord willing, it be edifying unto elect and close it out. So this is uh, Amos chapter 8 and um, verse 11. It says, Behold, uh, the days come, saith the Lord God, Yehovah, Yehovah Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not of famine, not a famine, of bread to lack here, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. But verse twelve, and they shall and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. You understand? So right now, you know, the man of the Lord. They are the highways and the byways, and they are doing these epistles, right? So the fruit is, is there, but there will come a time where when society breaks down, the Lord is going to remove us from the highways and the byways. He is going to remove um, these lessons from off the internet, right? Causing Esau to come down with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. See, right now, people are taking this you know, would like, you know, we tell our people that celebrating uh, their birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, are uh, hidden customs. But what do they do? They still go behind, you know, our back. Or they don't hearken onto the word. And they do these things. We tell them not to eat shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. And they still go and do these things. We tell them to refrain from sin and offend less. Right and seek ye the Lord while he is near and while he may be found. And they don't hearken unto it. So there's coming a time when they really need it, they're gonna run to it, they're gonna search on the internet, different channels, and they won't be able to find it. They're gonna go on the chief place of concourse, they're gonna go on the highways and the byways to seek out the men of Great Millstone. To understand the word of the Lord and the men shall not be there. So we are coming into a you know a very very dark time man where this word you know will not be heard anymore. And when these things happen, it's gonna be a, an increase of evil, sin, and wickedness upon the face of the earth. You know, so people is going to see comfort and refuge in this word, but it will no longer be there. It's kind of like the water in your faucet. You know, 
a lot of people take it for granted. Why? Because it it's at the tip of their finger. With one screw of the, the knob on, on the top, and water is released uh, through the mouth of the pipe, right? So imagine one day when you turn that knob, and you just hear a squeak, 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 but there's no water coming out of it. You know what I mean? A lot of people is going to spaz out because they're going to think about they don't have water to cook. They don't have water to flush their urinals. And they don't have water to drink. If you don't have water to flush your urinals, you can get sick from disease. If you don't have water to drink, you could die. And if you don't have water to wash yourself, you would be unclean. Right? So, as physical water is precious to the body, so is the spiritual water precious to the soul and body. And there's come a, it's going to come a time where there will be a cutting off. Because I don't know if you brothers notice, beside being on the highways and the byways and doing these these epistles, you don't want to really say much to people, especially friends and family that you have proclaimed this word to in the past over and over again. You know, remember when we had just came into this word, you may want to share it with everybody because the word is so precious, it's so precious and so amazing. But then when you go on to these people. In excitement to share it unto them they don't receive it right so we are close to our time and i could see it where you know the brothers won't be saying much especially to family and friends that they have already pleaded with and proclaimed you know this word uh to them that time is coming to an end you know so we can't but prophesy the scripture said the spirits of the prophets are subject to the to the prophets and uh, you know we can't avoid it you know what i mean so even in the reincarnation the prophets of all they prophesied they were led to the word of yahweh Shai. and so we are led to the word of yahweh yahweh Shai, and we speak unto what we see so this is first corinthians chapter 14 and uh verse 32 it says the spirits of the prophet are subject to the prophet right so this is talking about in reincarnation when you go into that word subject uh it says to subject one's self to obey, to subordinate, right? So this was written from the beginning of time when the Most High created the heaven and the earth. This is something we cannot avoid, right? So when this body dies and, uh, and, and the spirit takes hold of another body, right? That person is also going to be drawn to this word at some point. And prophesied so it was written from the beginning and no one can break that order so all these things that we are saying to our people that we are warning them of the times uh, to come the most I reveal it unto his servants the prophets you know Lord willing we be worthy until the end uh, to share these things unto them because there's coming a time where these things will no longer be and only the judgment of the Lord is going to go out so this is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7 it says surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophet those are our prophecies right he revealed these things unto the prophets verse 8 he says the lion had roared who will not fear the lord god spoke had spoken who can but prophesy so this word is reactive just as how it said you know a lion roar who can't fear you know when the lord speak you know we hear it we receive it and we run with it you know to warn our people of the pending um danger Right, so Lord willing, whoever hears this, you know, receive it 
I receive the word well starting from the elder apostles, elder bishops on down. We could just come into uh, into a time where this word will not be free flowing like it is now. And the last portion of scripture I'm going to share, as per the title of my um, lesson, is in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 26, on down to 27. And it says, I will, and I will make their tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reproof. All right, so we wouldn't be rebuking anybody on the highways and byways or on these epistles online, for they are a rebellious house. All right, then the children of Israel are a rebellious house. They don't want to hearken unto the word of the Lord. They want to seek after uh, their own less, their own loss. Right, they want to seek after their own gods, be it themselves. The bag money or whatever they hold in high esteem at this particular time but when i speak uh, with thee i will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them thus said the lord god he had he that heareth let him hear and he that forbeareth let him forbear for they are a rebellious also who that here will receive and who that don't want to hear they're going to refuse it it's because it's going to go in one ear and out the other right so the famine of the word is coming so drink of this word receive of this word and offend less unto the coming of the day of our lord for the end is near so all within this quick lesson was edifying unto the elect and until the next time shalom